Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn how you can run your Postman collection by Jenkins job, right? So we'll create a Jenkins job and then we will be executing the collection through Jenkins job. So till now, basically, if say for example, I had to execute the collection which I have exported, right, which is locally on my machine, then what we were doing from the command prompt, we had different options, right? So we have Newman and we have Postman CLI. Okay, so Postman CLI is a tool from Postman, the command line interface that we can install and then run the collections through Postman CLI. And then Newman is uh, under the open source umbrella. So we can also execute the collections through the Newman command line. Now, because I have already installed Postman CLI and Newman, in order to run the collection, through postman cli so let's say for example i go with the postman cli so i'll say postman and then the command is collection run okay and i have explained all these commands in much detail in the previous video so if you haven't watched them please go ahead and watch those okay so now postman collection run and then the collection location basically where your json file is so this is the location where i have exported the collection right so i'll simply say okay just copy the location and choose the collection right so this is the collection uh, the postman collection json file and then the next thing is we have to specify the environment on which we want to run this particular collection now because this is a jira this particular test case is calling jira api so jira api needs to talk to a particular server right the account that i have created so i have to specify the particular environment wherein that particular this particular collection needs to get executed okay and here i'll provide the location for the environment file so which is at the same location this is the environment file i'll choose the environment file so i'll say okay this is the environment file right which has all the environment details so that's pretty much it in order to run this collection locally right so i'll go ahead and execute this and then when we are going in jenkins we'll be setting up the same job with the same command right because that is what will, will be required okay so now you'll see that it has basically executed that particular collection successfully now how we are going to execute this in jenkins so basically within jenkins it's just a matter of creating a job and then specifying where your file is right so now my file is there on the local machine where my jenkins machine is now this particular json file could be in your bitbucket repository in in github right so you can pull that Bitbucket repository or get fetch these files, the JSON file from the Bitbucket repository. If it is there on the local machine, wherever Jenkins server is running, then you can follow this particular approach. If it is in the Bitbucket, I'll create a separate video to fetch it from the Bitbucket as well. Okay, so we'll simply go ahead and create a new item. And I'll say this is with a freestyle project. So I'll say, okay, Jira API test and I'll say freestyle. Okay, select the freestyle and then click OK. So here you can specify the description uh, if you want to about this particular job. Okay, uh, but as of now, we are not using source code management below here. So we'll just ignore it as is. All right, simply we have to come to the build steps. Okay, and then we will execute with the Windows batch command. Why? Because I'm on the Windows machine. If you would have been on the Mac OS or Linux, you, you will choose execute shell. Okay and then specified the command accordingly all right similarly there are other options that are available in invoke and gradle script or maven okay but because we have the file locally available so we'll simply go ahead whatever command we have fired in here okay i can simply go ahead and copy this whole thing okay and then just paste it here okay so what it will do is it will basically look for the file so exactly what the command did on the command line now the job will be created within jenkins and that job will help you to execute this particular collection with the environment detail okay so simply we just have to copy that so in order to keep it really simple or make it really simple this is the simplest or the most easy starting point okay now eventually you will be doing a lot of improvements in this particular job but as of now we simply go ahead and save it okay so once you save it you will see that this jira api test freestyle has been created successfully and now we can go ahead in the left hand side you will see that we can go ahead and build okay so i'll simply say okay build now 
and it will start building that particular job so what it, it's doing it is doing the exact same thing that my command line or the postman cli did it is basically looking for the collection at a particular location right you will see that it has executed successfully if you go to the console output you will see that it has picked up the file right it has picked up the file uh, from a particular location all right the json file and then executed that particular json collection on a particular postman environment json okay or basically pick the J environment json and execute it so whatever we did notice on the postman cli here okay the same report and result you will see that it is not exactly matching to that detail but yes you will see that it has executed successfully okay and if you want to make sure that it has actually executed successfully you can go ahead and see the console logs within the jenkins right so this is the most simple jenkins job that we have created now similarly if we have to execute this collection from newman okay so what we can do is we can basically go ahead and create a new job and that new job will basically trigger the newman command right so it is kind of same so we'll simply say new item and i'll say newman jira api and i'll use freestyle okay simply press ok so we have to select freestyle and then press ok so now in order to execute the same collection with the newman command the only thing that changes is newman run and rest everything in the command remains same right so it's just a different tool to execute the collection so postman cli is one of the tool newman is another tool okay so we'll simply say newman run and then if we paste this whole command it will run using the newman okay so we'll simply remove this postman collection run and just add newman run and then configure that job into jenkins for newman okay so i'll simply copy this whole thing and i'll then go ahead and in the build step i'll say execute windows batch command paste newman run command there okay and simply save and then build and you'll see okay so build has failed let me see what exactly the issue is so it has failed okay newman is not recognized as an internal or external command okay so let me check let me check i think it's not able to find the newman installable and that is why it is failing okay so let me quickly check so looks like there is some issue with the newman installation for a particular user so that's okay what i'll do is i'll go back to the job here okay and let me try to configure and see if newman is not recognized for that particular user because the user that has been set up for jenkins is a different user and maybe that's the issue okay so i'll simply do one thing i'll remove everything from here and i'll say newman hyphen h so this will most probably give the same error but just so this will if it is able to find newman so yeah that's fine i think the issue is that newman is not available for that particular user so you'll see that it is looking for uh, this particular user and newman is not able to recognize so i'll i'll fix this particular thing but overall in order to run this particular job okay the things don't change whatever command we have used for the freestyle for the postman cli okay similar command similar steps we have to configure for newman as well okay so the only thing we have to change is newman run and then rest everything will remain exactly same in order to execute the collection postman collection that is available locally on the machine using the jenkins job okay so this is about how you are going to configure and run the postman collection present locally on the machine where uh, the jenkins server is or on a network drive and configure a job and execute it through the jenkins ci server so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching